Hello friends. In today's video, uh, we will learn how to choose the input file automatically uh, from a folder uh, without requiring to point to it every time before running the workflow. I uh, will do that uh, with the help of a uh, few tools and uh, uh, those tools are the directory tool, the formula tool, the sorting tool, the sample tool, the dynamic input tool and this is the browser tool I uh, have for you uh, to view uh, the input after running the workflow. So how do we do that? Uh, let's begin and uh, see how it happens. So let me open a new window, new blank workflow and uh, let me show you uh, the folder where I have saved the input files that we so this is the folder and these are the files I have in this folder and uh, uh, different dates I have mentioned uh, 2021 04 30 2020 11 15 2020 uh, 11 15 so these are the uh, files that I have uh, in this input folder and I'll be directing uh, to this folder and choose the latest file uh, that is there in this folder so let me first insert the directory tool and we need the formula tool we need the sorting tool and then after that we'll get the dynamic input tool in the developer tab and to the view the result we need a or else we can just uh, click on this output anchor and see the view result as well. So let's see. So now first I will point to the folder. And the folder that we need here is in D, Alteryx and input. I'll say OK and then we need to write a formula here. So here I'll say we have this uh, the directory tool when we insert directory tool so these are the options that we will get and we have to create one more field saying file date and then the formula that we have to write here is we have to extract uh, the date part if we see in these files the date is towards the end of uh, the file name so we have to extract this date part from the file name so I'll say write string will be file name and length so we know that so let's see what happens because date uh, the date are eight characters so let's see if I put eight characters what are we getting so if you say eight and let's run the workflow and see what are we getting we haven't configured these tools yet that's why we're getting this error we will go there so here what we are seeing is EET is eight characters from the first file that uh, it finds in the direct uh, in that uh, input folder it is fetching us those eight characters so what we need to do is 
change it to because they date uh, are eight characters plus we have to consider these letters these extensions so we'll say 12 here so this is what we are getting and then from here excluding the extension we will extract the eight characters so let us write that formula we'll select and from this we'll extract eight so now we got rks h so this is from the first file so let's see in the input file which file it is reading so this is the new Microsoft Excel worksheet that is there that's why it is reading uh, this file so we don't need this one so let's delete this so now we'll see let's run this once again because when we are using this uh, dynamic uh, automatic uh, and we uh, we are configuring this to automatically choose the file uh, we want all files uh, file names to be in the same format and that was in a different format so we had to delete it so now see we are getting the date here and after this what we have to do we have to configure this sort tool and here we will sort with the file date we'll say descending so that the latest date uh, latest file date uh, should come on the top and here we'll say the last write time and the last write time is so let me just go and view the entire details so this will show the date modified this is the last write time if you can see these are the write times so which is the latest one so this one 015 2021 is the latest uh, that is modified in this folder and the date is 2021-0430 and after that 38 do we have any other file no that's the uh, latest one that is written in this folder so let's see and the date wise as well it is 0430 and so let's see let's create one more folder I'll copy this one paste here and I will rename it to 29 so here the dates are same because whatever the last modification was done to this file it is showing that time so let's make some changes to this file so let's let me say this one is 429 I'm just mentioning the date and save it so now the right time has changed for this one but the date remains 429 and here the date remains 430 so let's see let's go back to the workflow and here in the sorting tool file date is descending and last write time also to descending
and now we'll go to the dynamic input tool and we have to configure this tool as well so we need to go and select any one file and they should all be in same format let's select this one though this is the latest file that was modified we'll select this one and we'll say open sheet one okay and here we have to select full path and say change entire file path so this will fetch the file path sorry we forgot to add another tool here we need sample tool as well and in sample tool let's say first n and here you have to write one now let's run this workflow and this is throwing some unable to open file okay there is one more configuration that I missed and here in the directory uh, when we are selecting this folder we have to mention uh, the file excel sx because ideally there shouldn't be all the files that you are placing in that particular folder should be same because that's what you will be ideally doing so that's the reason in file specification you have to mention excel sx and here we mentioned how to fetch the date part and then here we mentioned we sorted uh, the file date and uh, last write time and here we are taking taking the input file and it is taking the first row so let's see in the sample if we say three and let's run it and see what happens if you are saying three in sample So there are two XLSX files, so it is giving us two files. One is 0429, though the write time uh, was uh, latest in this 0429, but it has sorted as per the date, and it has taken this as the first row. And when we select only row one, it will fetch the data from that path so it will take this as the path and this dynamic input will take this uh, that path consider though this was uh, the last uh, latest modified but it will consider uh, from the uh, sample tool we have taken only one so it will change that to this path and fetch the data from that file and this is the output that it is giving where we have written 430 so let's check in the file if it has fetched the correct data from the correct file so this and the 429 where the write time is the latest one but we have mentioned 429 so it has fetched the data from the correct file So this is how we can uh, import uh, 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 and choose uh, the latest file from the folder and we can add uh, other data preparation tool as per the requirement uh, after this. So hopefully this video was helpful. 
Thanks for watching friends.